So, one pin's up. Collecting in Preston tonight at four o'clock. That gives me plenty of time, doesn't it? I went to Amazon at half past two. Oh, that's a worry now. I'm going to be looking for Amazon myself. From Liverpool, the pressure should be fine. And technically, theoretically, I could all do this in one go. Be hitting Liverpool, bang on five hours, which gives me five hours because I've got a 10 hour driving day on me week to get from Liverpool to Blackburn and then Blackburn to Dunstable. And the gate is opening and they said the magic words, are you okay to take it off yourself? Yes, I am. Yes, I've got a pump truck. Yes, I've got a tail lift. Yes, it's only um, six pallets. They say 226. So we're hoping 226, 10 miles an hour around here, is a ramp. Because if it's a ramp, I'm in business. Which means I potentially could be out of here by one o'clock and at Blackburn at two o'clock. But the thing about that is Blackburn's not due to be loaded till four o'clock. But then theoretically, if Blackburn was ready at two, could be out of there at half past two, you could theoretically be home at half past six. If all the traffic went your way and the times went your way and all that, it's a bit of a big ask, I think. And no, it's got to be breaks in between there as well, isn't there, really? But you still, I still could be home at tea time. I can't see it. I can't see it. Stay tuned to this interesting and informative channel to find out am I going to make it home tonight or am I going to be in Travel Lodge? My money's on Travel Lodge. 224, 225, did you know 225 or 226? Must be 225. Well 225 is definitely a bay. I'm reversing out there. And then if it's not here, I'll um... Oh, it's even someone with an orange coat. Oh no, this is it. This is the business. This is nothing. Good old Amazon and their efficient tipping skills, which are never, they never ever keep you here for hours and hours and hours and hours unnecessarily on end. Oh no, this is just, this is, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful. I mean, don't get me wrong, six pallets, you can get out from the loot and just about. I've had six pallets on loot in a box of them before. Only once. There we go. Let's get it off. And we're clear half an hour oh, that for Amazon is unheard of I think it's because it's a new one I said to the guy oh, you've been here long it's about six months and I think they're probably still just getting completely up to speed and all that because normally you come in these places in lorries everywhere you've got no chance but that does mean now I mean I haven't put it in the sat nav yet but I should be in Blackburn it's just five past one five past two I'm not due to pick up till four but if it was there early and if the traffic all went my way, theoretically I could get there at say two, picked up by half past two, let's say quarter to three, let's say they loaded it for me and I even got to break it. Quarter to three, you could be at home by three, four, five, six, quarter to seven o'clock. It is possible, I just can't see it. I reckon I'm gonna get there. I reckon I'm gonna get there and it won't be ready till four. Or at least not for a little while, and then I just it's that getting home in four hours. But the main thing is, 
that um, I had a fear that I'd be stuck in here for ages and then I'll be having to ring up the second firm and go, I'm not going to be there in time. Well, now I've got all the time in the world to get there. Actually, I'll have to shut this job down and it blows you off. In the meantime, we'll wait for the, um, for the lady in the diamond box trailer to reverse and get out of here and get to the next one. And a boat go by. Right, that's us clear of Amazon. We've had a right richy result there. And now we're on our way to number two. 36 miles, 52 minutes. So number two will be picking up on five hours 52. Which I know it's only eight minutes, but when you've got that, it gives me four hours eight to make it home. Still ever so tight, and it really, it really is. But and if I'd have done the toll, then it might be. But then you don't know, do you? You just don't know. If I'd have done the toll, then I might have got here early. No, they were still gonna let me in. Nothing would have happened in those seven minutes. But so and then that's also, of course, if I get to this place and it's the right direct, it's the right location, and I don't get detoured, and then it doesn't add any time, or it might cut some time off. I don't know. But yeah, so we're we're still the right. You know, the race is on as usual. Um, but yeah, so I'm due there at 10 to 2 and my collection time is 4 o'clock. So I'm not going to be late, I'm certainly not going to be late. Now, we just, now the next one is fingers crossed, we get there and they go, yeah, it's ready now, mate, crack on. Have to wait and see. Right, quarter of an hour away now. I mean, thinking, I mean, it's still looking lightly. I'm, as long as the, the place I'm going to in the sat nav is. It looks like it's a big industrial estate again, so it should be, hopefully, take me to the door, which means I'll have four hours, seven minutes, four hours, seven minutes left. Um, I might not get loaded for a couple of hours, but if I don't get loaded for a couple of hours, I'll put it on break. I've got to take a break anyway, so I'll go and sit and have a cup of tea and um, make sure I don't go the wrong way with this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one. Uh, and have a cup of tea and just sit and watch for TV or something like that for a while. These guys over here. Make way for them, gentlemen. Um, <coughs> and also, if I don't get loaded till later, then there's more less chance, I think, that I'll hit traffic on the way home. Although that is pretty much like that. Um, and the other thing I could do is if I decide to head home, see, the later I leave it, then I'm up against my work time directive, which is I have got to finish by, I think I started this morning, about half six, half seven, by half nine. So if I'm hanging around, there's a chance that I'll run out of hours in my day before I run out of driving time. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Also, I can play that one, that I can start heading down. If traffic gets bad, I can pull over, I can have a break, and I can wait for traffic to ease up. It's, can I be bothered with all that? You know, it does sound like a lot of a fuss. We're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it to fate. We're going to hopefully get it on quickly. We're going to drive in the direction of home. We're going to see how much time we've got left in our clock. And if at any stage we decide that we've had enough, we're going to stop. It's not that tricky. Right, the sat nav didn't do a bad job. Literally, um, I saw it come up just as I went past it. Good thing, it's just, it literally is there. So, there we are. It's, oh, hello. Or is it taking me, that's bizarre. I might have been in the right place. No, am I in the right place? No, that's the right, it's the right, it's the right place here. Um, and I'm here. That's the one, good thing. Right, and I'm here with it's got it's un, over four hours so now the next thing we've got to pray is it's ready and that the traffic on the way home is kind it's 
going to stick it in a bay and go and see what they say. Trying not to race any potential driving time, even reversing it in. Oh, let's just hope everything's right. If not, I'm going to put my feet up. Watching Clone Wars. Go see. Paperwork. I said, tell me it's ready. He said, how's your day? I said, depending on what you tell me, it could be a lot better. He said, go down to Bay 3. I said, is it ready? It depends what the man on Bay 3 says. So we're going to go have a talk to the man on Bay 3. Is this door open? I'd better get out of here. So he says, I've gone into the blue cabin. First of all, I've got to get through the door. Got through the door. Geezer says, uh, you need to go down there and get the paperwork. I went, yeah, this is the paperwork. I've just come from down there. Uh, and then the, I walked in the blue cabin. The guy says, uh, you outside in the van? I went, yeah, big van. Uh, he went, all right, go and open it up, I'll sort you out. And while I was there, I put it into the sat nav. It's just under four hours to get home at the moment. This is, oh, it really is, it's touch and go. But at the moment, it's go. Mm. This is just too good to be true. I've jumped in the cab because it started raining. Um, and then just I jumped in the cab, uh, a young fella comes out and starts putting pallets on the side of my lorry with forks. Four pallets, that's all it is. It's seven and a half ton load as well. So we're nice easy right here he comes now. Look, there you go. There goes the shutter up and there goes a lovely gentleman on a fork truck. I even said to him, I said, look, do you want me to open both curtains? I can push him across. I can go jump and get the pallet trays. No, I'll try and push him across. That's the noise we're pushing across now. Two more. I'm good to go. Oh, just got to hope that sat nav holds its, holds its nerve. Let's go. And we are loaded, we are loaded at 20 past two. What time did I start this morning? Picked up at half seven. So I have driven from Royston to Liverpool to Amazon, unloaded, gone to Blackburn and got reloaded by 20 past two. That's good going. That's very good going. I'm going to grab myself 15 minutes. It can't make that much difference. And that means I've only got to stop half hour on the way home then. Uh, but the sat nav is still saying four hours. And I've got about four hours eight minutes and normally you'd get back to the yard about three or four minutes before the sat nav because it kind of overcompensates so i might have a 15 minute 15 minute margin of error but that's not a lot we're just gonna have to get our heads down hit the road and don't spare the horses wagons roll It don't get no easy, does it? <laughs> so, I just had the phone call, and he was, and I saw it come up and thought, oh God. And he went, can you turn around? You've only got four planets, they're supposed to be loaded you with five. Oh, I said, so that's gonna kill me. I said, because the thing is, as it stands at the moment, oh, by the way, I've got to use a tow rope. I literally, because I, it came up on the sand nav, I'll make it with seven minutes to spare if I use the toll road, and, and 15 minutes over, eight minutes over if I don't use the toll road. 
I'm not even sure I could tell where I worked. And I, I kind of went, oh, I can't believe it. I was so, so thought I might just make it home. And he went, just, just give us a price of what you're going to do to go back. And I kind of went, I said, the thing is, if I go back, that means I've definitely got to get a hotel. And he went, well, he said, don't, he said, just give me a silly price. He says, because it's their fault. They haven't loaded me with the right amount of pallets. I'll argue that it's actually cheaper than to put it on a small van. And I went, well, just tell them that I'm going to run out of hours then. Because if that's the case, say, I the driver physically can't go back, because if he goes back, he won't make it to Dunton in time. And he went, all right, I'll tell them that. <laughs> oh, thank you. They're nice people. They're the people that a long time ago used to give me a team of jobs and they're very nice. They give me a prison job as well. They're very, very nice people. And I, I rang them back after I thought about it. I said, look, if there's an issue, I mean, in the morning, I can meet the small, the small van driver somewhere, anywhere you like, and we'll get it on. And if it helps, getting it in the super drug in the morning, I don't mind doing that. But once you kind of set your heart, there's still not a guarantee that I'm going to make it. But once you set your heart on the fact that you might just make it, really don't want to sort of um, yeah I don't, I don't want to lose that one so we're, we're, st we're still at a miss you know it's still up against it and I've got stuff D's as well but that's fine because I'll find the diesel stop where it's sort of um, not an offensive one what the gap off fill on none of this traipsing around roundabouts none of this south mix nonsense but I feel a bit bad that I haven't got back but They all say card only, so I guess I'll give them a card then. Please insert the card Phone in the card reader card. slot below. Please insert the card in the card reader slot below. Please insert the card in the card reader slot below. It's a lot nicer. I can't justify the expense, not if I didn't need the time, but I do need the time.